the leader of the second opposition. For now. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our caucus uh, routinely welcomes delegations uh, from uh, consumer groups uh, who want us to do more to protect Manitobans because of this province's weak regulations. For many years, seniors in Manitoba have been getting swindled by door-to-door -door salespeople who are, in fact, only selling scams. These are not just aggressive sales tactics. These are predators. Complaints to the provincial office have doubled in the past year, and Hydro received 200 complaints about one particular company, Prairie Home Comfort. This government has been sadly silent while Manitoba seniors and our most vulnerable are being duped. This government has the ability to end this practice, yet they seem to have only one priority, and it's not protecting seniors. Can the Premier tell the House if the government is planning to do anything at all to protect seniors from these types of scams? The Honourable Minister for Justice. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I thank uh, the member opposite for, for that question. Uh, we realize uh, too many Manitobans are falling victim to the, the high-pressure sales tactics that are being used. Uh, certainly, people can report that to our Consumer Protection Office. Our Consumer Protection uh, people are dealing with a number of, of cases across Manitoba and investigating this case. Is in fact, some of these uh, situations uh, have been resolved quite successfully. The Honourable Leader of the Second Opposition on a Supplement Question. Uh, Mr. Speaker, seniors in Manitoba are being abandoned by this government. They, the Premier has promised uh, big on PCH beds, but uh, won't put his money where his mouth is. And they seem to be walking back on every announcement they've made unless it's being fully funded by the federal government. They've scrapped the special drugs ah, program, they've raised order. costs for outright cancelled seniors' community happened. programming and information organizations, and they have raised property taxes. Order. While I was disappointed, I wasn't all that surprised to hear this government is planning to close down the 65 transitional beds at River Ridge 2 that they only opened two years ago. How can the Premier justify these cuts? The Honourable First Minister. Speaking of swindling seniors, uh, Madam Speaker, the uh, federal <laughs> carbon tax, which the member supports so avidly, will do exactly that. It will actually make it uh, more expensive for seniors in Manitoba to volunteer or travel to a store to shop, and then once they get to the store, to shop at the store. They will also, uh, it will also uh, make it more expensive for seniors in many parts of the province to heat their homes. Uh, the member supports these things. Uh, swindling seniors is uh, not a good idea, Madam Speaker, and I don't know why he supports it when his federal colleagues do it. The Honourable Leader of the Second Opposition on a final supplement. For now. Uh, it's really terrible, Madam Spe uh, Mr. Speaker, that the Premier believes that caring for our seniors is a burden for his bottom line. Seniors need protections from predatory salespeople. They need safe, affordable housing with supports based on their needs, and not just denting promises of of personal care home beds without the funding to actually build them. They need community programming and advocacy groups to help them stay healthy and navigate our complicated systems. But instead, this government is dismantling the health care system. They're delivering higher property taxes and hydro bills. They're decimating community supports. There's a lack of supportive housing and no protections from predatory sales tax tactics. And now they are closing transitional beds for seniors. Order. Why does this government have no regard for our seniors and why won't they step up? and stop these cuts. The Honourable First Minister. Well, in addition to the absolute inaccuracy of the preamble, I think what the member is missing is the fact that we're making life better for Manitoba seniors. We've erased the wait times, erased the wait times for getting into personal care home beds that, that plague seniors across this province and in many regions of this province for years, and, we're, and that issue was not addressed by the previous government at all. Uh, we've shortened waits for uh, services like uh, knee replacement, uh, like cataracts. Uh, we've increased the availability of MRIs. We've made significant improvements that have been noted by national experts as, as being uh, better than other provinces have made. And in addition, uh, we have uh, cut ambulance fees, which affects seniors, of course, profoundly, uh, in half. We're making great progress to assist seniors in having a better health care system that gives them better care sooner, and the members should recognize that as more and more seniors across the province are certainly recognizing it firsthand in their own homes. Yeah.